Hi everyone, Donovan here. In this video, we're going to learn a little bit about layer, layers and Z orders. And we're going to learn that by um, putting in a background, right? So I've just gone online and found a random background in Google Images for a platform game. You can search platform game background. For the purposes of education, you can just use whatever you find online. But if you want to actually publish the game, you have to either create um, the, all the images and stuff yourself, or you have to um, uh, buy it from the artist, right? So uh, most of the time you can find websites where you can pay, you know, a couple couple dollars, like five to 10 bucks and um, buy one of the pre-made assets. Um, or if you know how to use Illustrator, you can just create it yourself. But anyway, I've, I've put in the image as my background and you notice if I drag it on, that it covers up the entire game, right? So I can see that black box, that's just the camera. So I wanna first resize this so that the height of the image is, is the same as the height of the camera. So if you hold in shift when you're resizing an image, it'll force it to keep its proportions, right? So if, look, that's what I'm doing. And I'm gonna press shift now. Um, and it forces the proportions to stay the same. So I just want the height to line up. Um, because I can drag in another background and I can line it up with that one. And I'll scroll across. And then similar, I'll just resize it so that it lines up. Okay, it's not lining up perfectly. So if you're creating a real game, actually that's pretty good. Okay, but you'll see straight away that all my platforms and my main character and stuff like that's hidden. Now, if I click on any object, you can see in the properties bar here on the left, um, you have an option there for something called a Z order and something there called a layer. Now, for the background, we don't need to use a layer, but just so you know where it is, um, up in your top right, you have kind of like three squares overlapping each other. That's your layers editor. So if I click on that, it allows you to create new layers, right? For, for the background, we can just keep that inside our base layer and move things around. But for things like the UI, um, which we're going to do next, you'll have to create a, a different layer for that. So that's our background. Now to move it behind the platforms, we're going to use this Z order. And a Z order number is just a number determining how in front the um, object is, right? So that this background picture was Z order six. If I click on this next one, you can see it's Z order seven. So every single, um, every new object you drag back into the game space, that Z order gets added by one. And if I want it to be behind the platforms, I just have to give it a lower Z order. So if you give that minus one, straight away you see the, um, the characters and platforms and stuff pop ahead, right? So I'll go to the second one and I'll do the same. I'll make that negative one. And then now if I press play, whoops, make sure you, you can see a little bit of gray here. So just move the uh, background picture back a bit. Okay, and you can see I'm playing and it's fine. That's all for this video.